Hey guys, it's Roderick and I'm here with Astonishing Iceman number three. Okay, so this comic really started off really strong. I was really, really into it and it's kind of been giving me the wonk, 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 wonks, right? Like, I love Bobby Drake. I like having an out gay character, but we're really like, the stakes are still kind of meh, right? Like, we get it. Orcus wants to kill him because he's part of the propaganda that they killed Iceman, so they're trying to kill him. But that's really all it. Like, I'm not really caring about him and Romeo's relationship. The thing that we care about the most is how Bobby's going to get out of this and how he's going to stay solid, right? And we're not, you know, it's just... I mean, it's such a great comic. I feel like they should have waited until after, you know, this Fall of X. But, spoiler alert, if you looked at the uh, Fall of House of X and Rise of House of X, there are three mutants that are not on the picture. Bobby is one of them. You all go back and look at the promo and drop down and tell me who the other two are. But three mutants are not on that promo and Bobby is one of them. So I'm like, oh my God, is Bobby not going to make this? Is he not going to survive after all of this? I don't know. I would really be heartbroken if Bobby Drake is actually killed, but you know, but anyway, so this comic, so a lot, a lot happened, not that much happened in this whole thing. So we'll just get into it, right? So Aaron, so we get there, and so Aaron Fisher is fighting. So Aaron Fisher is part of the League of Captain Americas, which I had no idea there's a League of Captain Americas, because you know how I feel about the Avengers, so we won't even go into that. So there's a League of Captain Americas. He's one of them, one of his powers, super strength, kinetic feels. He's dodging off these fights, and he's with this group called the Y, the Y Men. Okay, the knockoff X-Men. Then there's mutants. And so pretty much they're people who took the experience drug experienced drug who now have mutant powers right so he's with them because they're being healed hunted because orcas is hunting everybody with mutant powers right so the person who's doing all the hunting is now the cleaner because as you recall from the previous episode the cleaner they called in the cleaner to come to find to come get bobby right so this is obviously a distraction to draw him out right meanwhile bobby is in the arctic ocean picking kale getting sea urchin to make Romeo salad because obviously they can't grow anything. They can't get Uber Eats in Antarctica and Romeo needs something to keep his strength up, keeping Bobby all whole, right? So I was just like, okay, cool. That's whatever. That's nice. So then back in LA, the cleaner is still attacking everybody and then like, they're putting up a fight and then Bobby shows up. He tries to touch the, the cleaner, but his skin has been biochemically treated, so he can't really freeze, right? So then I was just like, okay. So then they do the molecular lava thing that they did to Bobby during the house of during um, the Hellfire Gala. So he hits his leg. So he's like, ha, 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 gotcha, gotcha, gimme. And Bobby's like, nope, not again. So literally Bobby breaks off his leg, beats the cleaner with his leg that he's broken off so that the lava doesn't affect him takes the moisture from the cleaner to regenerate another leg. These are type of things I like to see, like really Bobby using his omega levelness. And I was like sucking the moisture out, freezing it and building a new leg. I'm all for that, right? So then at this point, we find out that the cleaner has shot all the Y men with these little like pin stick darty bombs or whatever like that. So Aaron has a kinetic shield up. So he's like, okay, I'll be okay. But the other people, whatever. So Bobby freezes all the bombs except for Aaron's, which he didn't have enough time for, but he actually flash freezes the entire explosion, right? Now, while all this is happening, the cleaner has now escaped, okay? So Bobby returns back to Antarctica, and we find out that this, uh, this, this last issue, this last instance in L.A., is the longest time that he's been able to stay solid, right? So little by little, we're finding out from the data page that Bobby is being able to stay solid. So this time was, it was 20 some minutes, 20 minutes and 34 seconds, right? So Orcus realizes that what Bobby is doing is staying, is staying solid a little bit longer. So they have to try to kill him before he can actually stay solid a lot, you know, for, for a longer time, which I'm just kind of like, there are so many other people you could go to. Like, can't you go to Doctor Strange? Can't you go to Reed Richards? Again, where is Reed Richards at? Like, I just don't understand why you and Romeo got to be doing this Thelma and Louise shit. Like, there are people you can go to who can help you stay longer. Where is Jamie Braddock at? Where is Pro? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I, I, I mean, as much as I love this book, I was just like, 
this problem can be fixed. There are people in the Marvel Universe who can fix your problem, right? But whatever, I just let that go, right? So anyway, the cleaner is, is back. He's with Pequod. And then he's like, okay, we're not paying you for failures. He's like, look, we're triangulating where he is. All I need is a distraction for you to go ahead and get ready to find him. So then we get to the end of the comic book and the distraction is somebody they've unleashed and now they're fighting Spider-Man. So then this next issue is gonna be Iceman and Spider-Man, the amazing friends, like in the 80s or whatever. So again, this is an enjoyable comic. It's fun, it's upbeat, I really like it. I just wish it just had a little bit more tie-in and then we just got a palpable set of stakes, you know? So anyway, but I just think, also I just think this fall of X is just getting so sad. It's like the mutants just aren't winning anything. I just want them to get a win, but I guess we'll have to wait till the fall of House of X, rise of, rise of House of X, for them to even get a win. It just seems like trauma porn at this point. I just see the mutants just take L after L after L after L after L. So anyway, guess what? That's it. That's the Tomology X-Men number three. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.